the three most important things voters should look out for on election day is number one to understand the role that technology will be playing in this election uh, don't forget that INEC will be using the biometric voter accreditation system the beavers uh, for the first time in a general election and so that is one of the first you know things uh, uh, the, you know the voter would uh, see at the voting at the polling unit uh, on, on election day I think it is very important that voters understand uh, that this device is an accreditation device uh, because we've also had situations in which some people think it's a voting device it's not a voting device it's an accreditation device so it's the device that will accredit voters before the voters can then go on to vote in the election and so that understanding is uh you know very very important the next aspect that i think voters should also understand is that there's another component of technology in the election which is called the IREV, the Resolve Viewing Portal. Uh, and the, 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 the purpose of the Resolve Viewing Portal is to create a space where INEC can electronically store results after the elections. So after the, you know, the polls are done, uh, the Beavers device will be used to take a picture of the, uh, you know, the results, the big result poster. And you know, in that, um, that picture will then be uploaded to the IRFs. Then the third part uh, of what I believe that uh, voters should uh, think about on election day is uh, uh, an understanding of the basic uh, rules that govern the process. Uh, accreditation, uh, you know, uh, would begin at 8 a.m. and, you know, the process gets to end at 2 p.m. But you also understand that uh, people who are already on the line before 2 p.m. You know, can also go ahead. So voters should understand these, uh, these very important aspects of the, of the elections and be ready to participate actively. First thing, um, every electorate should ensure that they have a permanent voter's card. And um, that is the only valid um, tool that they need to use you know, to uh, participate in the election. So while in the polling unit, they should ensure that they are in the right polling unit because, of course, INEC has created more polling units due to the number of people that have registered in a particular polling unit. So if INEC has created more polling units, they should ask, they should approach the, 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 the INEC officials in every polling unit to ask them where, if they are in that very polling unit or not. It's very important to uh, to be sure of your polling unit before you start queuing in a line. Um, the instance we see today that we have voters queuing up in a line without approaching the INEC officials in that polling unit to be sure that they are registered in that very polling unit. And again, they should also look at for um, if the INEC materials, the election materials, are in that polling unit. Like what? Um, the register. The, the ballot box, you know, the, uh, the, the ink, you know, um, of course, the beaver's machine and, you know, any other materials, the result sheets and everything is in, is in that polling unit. I think uh, on the election day, uh, voters should be, um, need to look at the conduct of the election itself, uh, particularly the attitude of um, INEC officials, uh, right from setting up the polling unit to the conduct of the election and to you know announcing the result at that uh, uh, polling unit and so electorates must look out for uh, materials that will make uh, uh, election to be conducted uh, uh, properly and also they need to look out for the security uh, do we have uh, security around that uh, environment if there's any uh, harassment or whatever, is there any security personnel around that place to, you know, to control the situation? And they need to look out for, for that also during the election. The very first and foremost thing you need to look out for on the election day is to be able to identify your polling unit and look out for um, the security, the safety, 
and the uh, materials that the uh, INEC officials are going to bring out, uh, bring to your polling unit. So INEC has said we are no more going to use paper trails in the accreditation process for the 2023 elections. We are using the BVIS, the Bimodal Voters Accreditation System uh, uh, technology for accreditation. So that would mean that each voter will be accredited to using his or her fingerprint or facials in, uh, in the accreditation process. Okay, so three most important things voters should look out for in these elections is knowing the candidates they want to vote for. Um, at this point, I believe, even at this point, voters should begin to, to know or begin to scrutinize candidates they want to vote for. And when we say candidates, we're not just meaning looking at the presidential elections. Keep in mind that February 25th is not just the presidential elections, but also the National Assembly elections, Senate and House of Representatives. And then in 28 states, on 11th March, there will be governorship elections as well as House of Assembly elections in all 36 states. So it's very, very important for voters to begin to scrutinize um, and select candidates they want to vote for. Um, but beyond that, the Electoral Act that, was, that came to effect last year has also empowered INEC to transmit its election, polling its election results to the INEC Resolve Region portal. So vote citizens can also uh, observe, um, like perform the oversight role of looking at the INEC, the results as they come into the portal. So beyond just the polling units where they vote, they can also see the results of all polling units across the country. So right now, citizens can go and open accounts on the INEC, um, INEC results viewing portal um, so they're able to have access on that day. So I think that that's true. I would say also citizens can also follow the Yaga, Yaga Africa's ERAD platform, which leverages the INEC results viewing platform to visualize um, the results as they're coming from polling units. So that way, they're able to see these results in an easy-to-follow format and able to um, keep INEC check on these results.